Hi, this is Egg Beast, and today <coughs> I'm going to be going through some old models and looking for issues with them. So it's a bit of a a bit of a, a general health check on P3D models to see how they work in game. So first of all, we're going to start with this is the artillery um, section of the Unsung mod. So I'm going to take the M1 mortar because we know that there's an issue with it. In the latest TACOPS update, it seems to have caused some issues. Now this M1 mortar is basically the um, M252 model from Armour 2, and yet it's now causing crashes to desktop, so we're trying to work out why. So let's have a look at the LOD. So first of all, we start on LOD 1, and I'm going to check UV. It has one UV set, good. Um, properties, LOD no shadow, fine. Okay, on to LOD 2, LOD no shadow, yeah, that's all we want, just checking UV, that's on 1, that's fine. LOD 3, LOD no shadow, UV, actually I'm just going to bring this down and I can keep it open, there we are, 4, LOD no shadow, yeah, in the properties, 1 UV set, 5, LOD no shadow, 1 UV set, view pilot, LOD no shadow and the properties, one UV set, shadow volume, no properties, good. All right, control A to select everything, uh, structure, topology, convexity, topology, no, yeah, find non-closed. And then just right click and drag if anything moves, then you know you've got a problem. So that's everything's fine. Next thing, structure, triangulate and then press U, which basically is the same as doing surfaces, sharp edge. Okay, L last thing, UV, only one set, good. Shadow volume 10, no properties, control A. There's components in there, we don't need those, that means it's come from geometry, so I'm cleaning those up by deleting them without deleting the actual components. <coughs> so you don't press delete, you basically right click on here and you and you uh, just delete the things that you've selected in there. So UV, no, nothing, that's only one, that's good. Uh, geometry, okay. So simple geometry, uh, let's just delete that old prop, uh, selection because we're not sure we need it. So we've got the We've got the Otic Vez, which is the rotating turret. Component 1, we don't need, oh no, we do need that. Well, let's just delete it anyway. What we do is, with geometry, right, we've got LOD no shadow. I might put in placement equals slope just to new placement slope. Just because when you place them in game, you don't want it to, you want it to know that it should tilt it along the terrain. I think it does it automatically, but I have that in there anyway. We could auto center it off, but it's a vehicle. I don't think we really need to do that. It, you do it with proxies, for example. Um, so we want to go structure, topology, find non-closed because we want no non-closed geometry, and structure convexity, find non-convexities. Right, fine. That all looks fine. So is there mass? Yes, there's mass. Uh, now we need component structure, topology, fine components. And now we've got a component 01, which is this piece here, and it has mass. All your components in your geometry should have mass. There's no reason why we should have these in here. So I'm deleting the gunner and the cargo. I'm going to right click. On the on the left pane here on the on the selections pane and delete empty that just gets rid of those save that's the geometry done right geometry fizz as you can see there's no mass which it should have new we need lod no shadow is one in the properties and we need a structure topology find components that missing component has is what I think has been causing us to have crashes since the TAC Ops update. <coughs> so, oh yeah, just to check UV, yeah, there's only one set. Just go back a minute to geometry, check UV, only one set, right, fine. Geometry physics done, memory, 
Lord no shadow one, that's fine. Just check UV. Yep, that's fine. Nothing else to check. Land contact. New. Lord no shadow one. We don't want a shadow from that, that's for sure. Uh, view geometry. Um, okay. So you'll see we've got components on there. I'm just going to go structure topology find non closed. And it will say that the proxies are non closed, but that doesn't matter because they're not really that important. So structure convexity find non convexities. As long as your main geometry is closed and convex, that's the important thing. So and it's so if you do structure topology find components, sometimes you'll see it will double up the number of components. So you, what you do is you write, you grab, select all your components, delete. Notice it doesn't delete it in this because I'm using right click delete. And then you do structure topology find components again, and it just it should list them in in sequential order, one to ten or one to hundred or whatever you've got. Right, fire geometry. This is always more complicated because it's the bits that ba have things bouncing off them. Press E. Oh look, we've got an old penetration RV map for metal plate. So I'm going to change that to um, A3 data F penetration and then it's got to be armor or in this case it's supposed to be metal plate so let's give it metal plate which is metal underscore plate in uh, armor 3 that changes all of those that was the E key by the way just to bring that up <coughs> we need our gunner and our and our cargo sitting in the fire geometry otherwise you can't shoot them they need to be part of Vez, so that when you turn the the turret they turn with it otherwise you would be shooting at them but actually the fire geometry version won't have moved autoclavin is the gun so that's basically the bit that elevates up and down and there's our components as you can see so i'm just going to right click and delete those structure topology find non close just to zoom in yeah that is just the proxies that's fine structure convexity find non convexities also find structure topology find components there we are and that's it that should now work oh hang on last thing just double check only one uv set okay closing that <coughs> let's go to the m2 mortar m2 mortar open there we are different model not made by bi as you can see which is a beautiful model made by luchador and what I'm going to do first is check UV, one set, good. Uh, then I'm going to check LOD no shadow is one, yep, that's good. There's no distance LODs on this one. I'm going to write that down for something to do later. M2 mortar distance LODs. Because it's missing some distance LODs, it needs them really, because we're talking about uh, 2,700 faces. We want to really halve that and halve it and halve it. So we need a few distance LODs. So view pilot, just checking one UV map. LOD no shadow, shadow volume. Wow, that is a complicated shadow, isn't it? 5,512 faces. That needs to be reduced significantly. So I would view left on that, um, zoom in with star, and just start taking out some details. For example, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. I think. Uh, okay. So we keep the big pieces and get rid of these small bits. Keep the big piece. Delete that. Yep. Uh, view front. Wow. This is a complicated looking shadow. So I think I'm happy to keep the legs because they're going to be really obvious. Okay, I think we can get rid of that little bit there. Yeah, we'll keep that bit, we'll keep that bit, and those feet. Hide. Okay, get rid of that bit. 
Yep, keep that. Get rid. Keep. So this is kind of how to do your shadow um, optimization, really. So yeah, just all these weird little bits. We just know they're never going to really need to be seen that much. Delete. 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 Yeah, we don't need that. Right. Keep the big piece. Uh, delete. Yeah. Delete. Yeah, pretty much we can get rid of a lot of this stuff. Um, okay, so, yeah, nice big wheel, that will show up. That will be covered by its other part in shadow, so no need for it. Okay, keep that. And those. So this is kind of what you need to do with any model, really, is spend a bit of time just getting to know it and deciding what, you know, what you need to keep and what you need to get rid of. So, let me get rid of that. Keep that. And just get rid of that. Right, let's bring Control A, Control Shift H, bring the whole thing back. And it's still 4,000 faces, so we're going to need a Shadow Lod 2 for this. Copy, New, Properties, Shadow Volume, and set it at 10 meters away and we're going to get rid of the shadow of the gunner and cargo because we don't need to see them that close that f right now this is going to get interesting so i'm going to just save it because it can cause you all sorts of problems right okay and i'm going to get rid of the feet we don't need those see the base plate's a bit more complex right so this bit here all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. Now that's going to leave a bit of open uh, faces. So I'm just going to go structure, topology, find non-closed. And you'll see it's found those. So I'm just going to get that. Um, structure, topology, close. <coughs> now this is where object builder can crash, which is why I saved it first. Find non-closed. And drag nothing, right? So that's fine. So our base plate's intact now. The base plate mostly covered this piece, and this is really complex. So I am literally just going to get take all of those and get rid of them, and those and those. And probably, to be honest, if we zoom right in here, what I'm going to do is just drag all of that, and then zoom in. And then control shift and drag over all the all the ones up here because we don't we don't want to select those because we're quite happy with that level of complexity but we want to get rid of the next face down so delete and there we go see that's nice and simple now but it's non-closed so if I grab the selection <coughs> structure topology close. That should now it's told us that it's closed this bit. Structure topology find non closed and it doesn't find anything. So we're happy with that. The other option actually here is to let's just move it sideways and let's grab the this bit and then let's just drag it down. Bit bit risky because this might clip into the barrel now because we sort of dragged it in a slightly uh, not perfect way so we'll have to just give that a try the other option we can do is take the barrel and do hold down control and shift hold down right button and just scale it down by dragging down a little bit and why has that picked up that don't know what that is Okay, so all right. So I'm just gonna. This is where you can get sort of lost in a myriad of stuff. So I'm just gonna keep that inside the general geometry. There we go. So that has now simplified those two bits, and then I'm just gonna get rid of all of the detail because we don't need any of it. 
delete, view front, yeah, delete, delete. Well, we just get rid of all of it. We don't need any of this stuff. Right, and this bit, yeah, that can go. And that bit. Hmm. So, what I'll do with this one is zoom in on this piece, get rid of that, and then highlight these bits. There we go, we've got everything. I think so. Let's just check. Control Z to undo. Oh God. <laughs> this is where you start to realise you're in hot water in terms of object builders not very happy with the number of faces in this shadow. So I'm just going to drag that up to here. It's about right. Let's press star to zoom in and just check. Put it right on the end of this one. There we go. Now let's do view left because obviously we're dealing with a Aha, as you can see, <laughs> we're dealing with a bit of a strange shape. So now I'm going to go across and down, zoom in, make sure it's about in the middle, about lined up with these things. It kind of, yeah, all right, view front again. And you see we've gone off. Yeah, that does have to be up here, doesn't it? All right, view left again and across that should do view front in view left happy right okay so if we're happy with that what we do is we grab that and hide it oh hang on that's only one leg right so <coughs> so what we need to do is take this leg and do the same thing. Star. Yep. Yeah, that's about right. View left. View front. front okay so I've now got two legs whoops let's grab all the selection and I'm going to hide those now I can delete all of the other details in this leg because we've got a much simpler looking shadow all right ah okay so view front Right, let's just take these out again. Hide. And we just want to take all the complexity out of this shadow. So that's fine. That's fine. But that, um, yep, there we go. That can go. View left. All right, okay, star. So you can see we've got this bit. We'll just bring that up to there. View front. Always just double check it in both directions. So when I do this, <coughs> we will see that we've got some gaps in the shadow here. So let's look back at this one. View front. And probably it's this bit that's missing. Copy. Paste. View. Left. Yep, there we go. So now if I do grab all of that, that is 1100 faces. It's still quite a lot, but it's not bad. So last thing, structure topology, find on close. Just check everything's closed. Structure, triangulate, and U for surface um, sharp edge. All right. And that's now got LOD no shadow one in it, which we really don't want because that disables the shadow LOD. This one also has it, so that's getting deleted. All right, so we've now got a distant shadow LOD for this, which I'm happy with. Let's go to geometry. So again, we don't want the, the gunner and the cargo delete empty. That gets rid of those. Get those out of the geometry LOD. Now we've got 
a mass all the mass is at the back of the mortar to stop it from tipping over that's fine you'll notice it doesn't follow the line of the mortar so I'm going to change that slightly okay I'm going to delete these component row while and that that old uh, thing that was on there I'm going to add a property placement slope I think that's more for if you place it in a map setting anyway <coughs> in world builder so now we're going to go structure topology find non closed drag nothing structure convexity find non convexities drag nothing shows up so it's not highlighting anything topology find components we've now got a component we're happy with that there's no physics geometry aha so let's just go to view geometry no no let's go to geometry so what I'm going to do here I've got to make the physics geometry so I'm going to copy this copy I'm going to save my mortar I'm going to go file new paste make this into a geometry properties geometry now I'm going to remove the mass apply then I'm going to copy it file back to the mortar don't want to save that and then I'm going to so hold on so that was geometry so I'm going to do new properties physics geometry paste now just to be on the absolute safe side I'm going to redo the component so structure topology find on close just to check because sometimes they sneak in when you do copy and paste um, structure convexity find non convexities nothing and then lastly structure topology find components and we've got a component 01 we don't need the placement equals slope in our physics slot <coughs> that's now got physics which you didn't have before which might have been causing us problems so again we've got lot no shadow oh yes let's check for UV so I've forgotten to do that geometry check for UV only one set as you can see UV set naught um, there's an edit lot in here so I'm just going to delete that because we don't need it anymore um, land contact new lot no shadow tab one Okay, view geometry, structure topology, find non closed. It will just find the proxies, that's fine. Structure convexity, find non convexities. Structure topology, find components. Sometimes when you do that, it will double these up. So that's why I prefer to just delete them before I add new ones. Checking UV, only one set, good. Fire geometry, structure topology, find non closed. Structure convexity, find non convexities. Aha! So we've got some non convex geometry in our fire geometry. So I'm just going to hide those and get those out of the way. View, front. So it's these two sticks here. This one. Right, so I'm going to just gonna press D. Structure, convexity, convex hull. D. Structure, convexity, convex hull. Structure topology find non closed just to make sure it's still only the proxies. Structure convexity um, find non convexities. It's all convex. Now you'll notice when we go through the components list, it's only highlighting the vertices on this and not the faces on component three and on component four. And you'll also notice it's only it goes to component six. There is no component five. So these components are not sequential which means I'm going to right click on those and delete and then I'm going to go structure topology find components and now we've got a list from one to five that is true and correct and when I just check Otto Harvin it's only picking up these vertices so I'm going to just grab those parts and redefine it Otto Vez is fine cargo and gunner you'll have to also make sure the index 001 on each of these is the same in all of your LODs because otherwise that's when you get things where for example if cargo 01 it was in here and in your fire geometry it was cargo 02 
then that would not reflect the actual player who was sat in the cargo slot or the AI and you wouldn't be able to shoot him. And that's when you get these weird issues where you can't shoot somebody. Um, I've forgotten something. UV. Yeah, only one set. Um, oh yes, this is fire geometry. So we press E and you'll notice we've got... So this is actually using armor plate. Well, I'm going to change it to metal plate. But you'll notice because I got rid of all the faces that we've got a whole load of selections here which if I do this it basically doesn't show which they are but it's these faces in these struts because I deleted them and replaced them they no longer have any RV mat attached to them so when you shoot them you won't see any sparks or anything so I'm going to select the whole thing I'm going to press E and then I'm going to basically go um, A A3 D data F P penetration and M metal plate apply okay that's now the whole thing's got metal plate applied to it and I'm saving it <coughs> lot no shadows one and so on and so on just double checking those shadows so I do I've made a note about it later making distance lods for this because it needs distance lods but that is finished so let's have a look at another one I'm going to pick a particularly old model now just to make sure you know we, we pick up any horrible issues in it let's try the d20 which is a howitzer um, so we've got x step and x step and step in there so i'm going to delete those old properties we don't want those uh, this has also only got one distance lod so i'm making a note of that d20 needs distance lods adding it's got a view gunner which should have more detail for the gunner view but not behind him again we've got step in there so i'm getting rid of those we don't need those cargo same thing shadow volume look it's got lod no shadow one that's great that disables the shadow lod well done geometry they've all got these step in them i don't know what that does actually but i'm getting rid of it so it's got geometry physics memory's fine actually geometry physics new lod no shadow tab one it should um, maybe have SB source equals shadow as well. Shadow volume. Land contact. Roadway. Okay. That's for walking over the bits of the legs without tripping over them or having to step over them. Hit points. I don't think I saw hit points in my other in my mortars, for example, so I might need to check and add those. So the first thing we do is get rid of any old properties we don't want, because that means we can then, if we need to copy and paste between LODs, we're not going to copy and paste the properties back in that we don't want. So that's LOD naught. Uh, UV. One UV set, okay. View gunner. UV. One set. View cargo one set shadow volume okay so you see the dark bits there seems to be some light bits so I'm just going to go structure topology find non closed I should have saved it before I did this because yeah it can actually crash our object builder if it's too complex so I'm going to save that I'm going to hide the proxies and now I'm going to basically go structure topology find non closed no no I've done that uh, there weren't any view left. Right. Now I'm just going to grab these because you don't want to do control A because that will grab your proxies. And if you sharpen your proxies, it causes problems. So I'm going to go structure, triangulate. That's fine. And then I'm going to press U to sharpen all the edges. Now that's a 6600 face shadow lod. So I'm going to have to copy that and do a new properties shadow volume um, and we want index 10 for that and paste and then we want to just get rid of all the details so hide that because we want that we want wheels yes we want the, uh, the, the this bit at the back that lot can all just go 
Um, do we want the feet? I don't know. We probably want some of these bigger bits of the gun. That's fine. Hide. The armor plate. Yeah. Uh, view front. Hang on. No, that's a nice big piece. All the big pieces we'll keep. Yeah, that's fine. Also fine. View front. Mm, okay, so the bit the wheels are attached to is probably quite good to have. Like that. And then I think pretty much we can just get rid of that lot. View projected. Still looks pretty much the same. I'm just going to right click and delete empty on this side in case there's any bits we want to get rid of. And now we've got a 2000 face shadow shadow volume. Okay, so we're happy with that. Geometry. View left. So the thing to check is, does every component in here... First of all, let's get rid of those proxies because we don't need those in geometry. Let's just check. Do they all have mass? So every component, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, they each have mass because every component should have mass. It's got lod no shadow. I'm going to add a placement slope. Tab slope. I think it. That it probably needs class equals vehicle as well for that. Now, interestingly, this geometry doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So I'm just going to drag that piece, YZ, down to the, the, the actual floor level. There we go. Right, now let's look at um, UV. Because quite often you find a second UV map, map in the geometry. And this is your geometry physics. So again, I'm just going to drag that. Now, if for some reason that, <coughs> this piece I've just enlarged was be had become non-convex. Well, that's what we've got to be aware of. That's the wheels. So structure, topology, find non-closed. Drag with the right structure, convexity, find non-convexities. Right, no problem. Let's just look at geometry again. You notice this has got components, right? Now we look at geometry physics. It hasn't got any components. This is why our... our um, our missions are crashing with these these um, vehicles in. So we do find components. There we are. You have to have components in a geometry lod for it to work. So memory, again check UV. Uh, land contact, lod no shadows on. Roadway, oh I've done all the properties, of course I have. Just checking UV is only one set. I'm I hope we find one with, with more than one set at some point because then show you how to clean that up fire geometry right so you three can hide we don't need the proxies visible view left so these tires I'm just going to lock the y and z axis and drag down so they actually level with the ground so control a to no actually let's just highlight all of that Structure, topology, find non-closed. It just shows the proxies. Structure, convexity, find non-convexities. Ah, there we are. We found a non-convexity. You see that? If I drag that now, you see? So we've got a non-convexity. Control Z puts it back. View from the top. It's only this one piece. So I'm going to grab that piece. I'm going to hit D. I'm going to go structure, convexity, convex hole. And then just check it's closed. Topology, find non-closed. Because it's a simple like uh, rectangular prism, it's not really going to be not closed when it makes it. So we've now done all of those. Let's delete the components because we want to redo those in a moment. Just check Otok Larven is the gun that goes up and down. Otok Vez. Ah, now that's interesting. Because Otok Vez on here was including, which is the turret that rotates, it includes this leg but not this leg. So that would have caused all sorts of weird problems like you tripping over stuff and you know so I'm going to grab all of those and redefine the turret. Redefine. Zaklos, I don't know what that is. It's gone apparently. Now the next thing we need to do is the tyres E and you'll see they've got metal plate on them. We're going to change that we're going to go up to P drive, A3, 
data F, penetration, T for tyre. That means you'll get sort of a cloud of gas coming out of it. Now this is definitely armour plate. In fact, this stuff is so solid, I'm going to just give it all armour plate. So open, and then A, A3, data F, penetration, armour plate, apply OK. That's our fire geometry done. Just double check UVs, only one set it is. View commander. View commander. Oh, okay, so this is another view, viz lod. That's fine. So I've made a note to, change, to, to add more viz lods for this. But effectively, that is fine, and that should now no longer crash in TAC Ops. Let's take a different model. Let's buy a different author. Um, let's try the M102 howitzer. Okay, view left, let's have a look at this. Okay, so this has all sorts of issues in it. Look, cannot generate ST coordinates, non-linear mapping, non-planar faces. So there's a few bits to fix on this model which are beyond the scope of what I'm gonna do here today. So uh, just checking we've got, oh yeah, let's check if we've got UV. Ah, oh, they've, they've all got one UV map. I'm hoping we find one without one. So this has got LOD no shadow nor, it's got camo 01 in it as a selection, we don't need that. Because otherwise we're trying to add stuff. What the hell is Otter Larvin 2 and 3? Oh yeah, yeah, they're parts that move aren't they? Is that right? Yeah they are, they are. That's animations, that's fine. So I'm just going to grab that and go structure, topology, find non-closed. And structure, no it doesn't need to be convex, right. So structure, triangulate and press U, that just makes sure everything's done. You'll notice <coughs> there's no there's no gunner proxy in this shadow volume, so I'm going to add him and notice now LOD no shadow 1 has crept in because it came in with the proxy, so we'll delete that and we'll delete that in that shadow structure, uh, again get rid of the camo 1 Structure, topology, find on closed. Structure, triangulate, and U. All right, geometry, here we go. So here we've got, yeah, class vehicle placement slope, which is kind of what I was expecting. Auto center is off, not necessarily necessary. Anyway, let's just go through <coughs> the components and check that every single one of them has mass. If it doesn't, we need to add, say, 10 kilos to that piece, just to make sure that they all have mass. That's fine, they do. Um, yeah, yeah, right. So that's all the parts. I'm just going to check the UV map. Is only one yet? Structure, topology, find non closed. There we go. We've got a non closed geometry. It is, it is there. See, that bit's non closed. And structure, convexity, find non convexities. Drag, nothing. Right, so just this piece here. If we just grab that piece, now watch what happens. If we go structure topology close, it's now closed it. Now let's do structure convexity, find non convexities. And now, th now it, this bit's off because it's basically said, no, I'm not convex anymore. So I'm going to grab that piece. And how many points is it? It is eight points, but seven faces. That's weird, isn't it? So eight points, but seven faces. So I'm just going to check the mass of it is 64 approximately. So I'm going to press D, structure, convexity, convex hull, structure, topology, find non-closed. It's still finding it non-closed. Okay, interesting. Right, so it's time to be a little bit more. Let's hide those. Hide those. Right, that's our piece. View, top. Okay, well it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? So let's just take this and drag it down so it's here and this one down so it's there whoops just to make it a little bit more regular view left star and now 
we just line up these vertices a little bit better so it's a bit more of a regular shape because it doesn't really matter I mean it's not I mean look at the state of it it's it really doesn't need to be sli as slightly irregular as it is let's just highlight those yeah that'll do so it's really much more regular shape now we're going to go D structure convex D convex hull structure topology find non-closed and lo and behold it is now closed now it had a mass of 64 it still does I'm just going to say apply <coughs> now just to be on the safe side I'm going to delete the components structure topology find components okay and check that Arctic Vez includes all of that piece just because I'd, I'd like to be tidy redefine there we go so that's sorted out that bit of geometry that wasn't working properly right okay now we go to geometry fizz ah okay that's a bit of a why is that so complicated you see we don't need stuff like that in geometry fizz if this is and now we've got no components listed so that's going to cause us problems aha uh -huh, aha uh -huh, okay so geometry copy that Save, file, new, paste, properties, geometry, strip off the mass, copy it, file, open our howitzer, back into geometry fizz, delete that one, paste in the new one, brings no mass with it. Okay, let's just delete the one. So what I'm going to do here is this looks really complicated. Yeah, these tires. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do create cylinder and segment radius. That's one, two, three, four, about 16. 16. OK. Scaling it by holding control shift and right click. There's my wheel. Approximately, it should be above the, shouldn't be sticking down into the ground, should it? View, front. Okay, now I'm just going to grab, oh, that's face grabber. Hang on. Points. And lock left and right. And put it there for the wheel. And this one. There. For the wheel. Yep. Yeah. And now I'm going to grab the whole piece of geometry. I'm going to go copy and paste it and drag this one across to here. And now I'm just going to grab the bottom one parts, these more complex looking wheels. I got rid of them. View, left, that's much simpler. Okay, view, top. So that's simple, that's simple. I mean, I'm not sure about these bits, they're a bit little, aren't they? But to be honest, I don't really like overlapping geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that and put it there. And the same with this one. And put it there. Like so. There we go. And this one can come out. Oops out to there this one to there just because I, I, I think it's a bit crude to have overlapping geometry like that there we go so they're not overlapping now no, these two are though <laughs> never mind all right well let's just go structure topology find non closed drag nothing structure convexity find non convexities that's all good we only need lot no shadow is one. Delete. Yes. Just check UV. There's only one set. Yeah. And now we'd last but not least. All of that should be Otic Vez. Redefine. And structure topology find components. That's now a working physics lot. 
it's got zero mass, although for some reason it seems to be implying we can uh, we can adjust mass in there, so I'm slightly worried about that. But anyway, if that causes problems, you need to just start again and make a new geometry fizz and paste in and remake the bit with this bit without any mass. So anyway, um, so memory lod is fine. View geometry, structure, topology, fine non closed. You'll see this bit's showing up again. So again, we take, let's take those bits, copy, oh, and the tires. Copy, save, file, new, properties, geometry, paste. copy. I just want to check something. File. Let's bring that back open again. Geometry. Let's just check every component has mass again. Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's go to view geometry and let's take this and this and this and the wheels and delete them and paste in these bits we've just brought back, which are much simpler. Let's now delete the components. Structure topology, find non-closed, nothing. Structure convexity, find non-convexities, everything's good. Uh, we have lost, hang on, we have lost this bit at the front. Let's just check the geometry. Yeah, that box at the front. So copy. No, let's just take it from fire geometry because that's easier. From fire geometry to view geometry, paste E and just strip off the um, strip off the RV mat because we don't want any RV mats in there. <coughs> Delete that. Auto Clavin, Auto Vez, all good. Recall, yeah. Structure topology, find components. Done. That's, I just want to lastly check that that box was convex and closed. And it was, I should have checked it before I pasted it. Okay, so that's fine. That's our view geometry done. Fire geometry, that obviously has your gunner proxy in it. Now we've got structure topology, find non closed. And of course, we're going to always find it's this same piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the view geometry now and I'm going to take this piece and this piece because I've just edited them and I'm going to take the, the tyres. Actually no, I'll leave the old tyres. Let's just take those bits. Copy, fire geometry and take out those bits and replace them. Alright, and view left. I just want to check, is that tyre actually going under the ground in the main model? It is. Okay. Just going to move that up a bit so it kind of matches our real tyre shape. View front. It doesn't, does it? Let's bring it down a little bit. No. Maybe. Yeah, that looks good. And X, Y, that one across. So it's about right. So the tyres should have, this is fire geometry, they should have, they haven't got a material on them. Right, so let's just check that that is a 3 data F. It is T, tyre. Apply, OK, hide. Right, view, top. Now the rest of this should be pretty much armour plate. So E. And it has, it's got, we've we've put all our old armour to, um, and there's some bits without anything on it, so let's just grab that. A, D, P, armour plate, apply, OK. 
So that's now got all of the bits on it it should have. Deleting the components, checking autoclaven, autoclaves, and recall. Yep, structure, topology, find non closed. It should just be the proxy. Structure, convexity, find non convexities, none. Structure, topology, find components, sorted. Lodno shadow is the only one. Checking UV is only one UV set. Okay. I need to find, so that's that one done. What I need to find is, actually, let's just check Gunner 01 exists in all the other LODs, which it does. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and we've got geometry physics. That's all good. Save. There's more to do, but that, that will do for now. I just want to try and find, let's see, in a different, um, let's look in on AAA. I'm just looking for something, that the ZPU4, let's try this. Just looking for something that's got multiple UV sets. I've got a feeling I've t tidied these things up already. Uh, all right, let's find a... Let's have a look in our A6 intruder. Aha! Now we here we go. So we've got three UV sets coming up. One, nor one and two. So you take UV set one. It's got no content in it whatsoever. UV editor... Delete active. UV set 2. UV editor. Delete active. Obviously you don't delete it if it's got some content in it. Even if it's got a second UV set, it might need it in the visual LODs. But what you'll find is, when you go to your shadow volume, if you've used your vis LOD to create your shadow LOD, when we go UV, you'll see we've got extra UV sets in here. Very bad. So let's delete active. Delete active. And just leave the one set. UV, see there's only one set in there, UV, only one set, and geometry, UV, now just another thing, let's just check and see, have we got mass on every component, because this is the other thing I've been looking for, yeah we have, alright, yeah, UV set, so there's only one UV set in all of these, Quite often the memory LOD has a second UV set, or some of the geometries do. Yeah, it looks alright. So there's just some extra UV sets in the... Uh... Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. That's just a little bit about cleaning up and sorting out a few issues in your models, and I uh, hope it helped. Alright, cheers.